From public hanging to lethal injection, execution is not something you are meant to survive. But sometimes, people do. Today, we will be counting down six people that survived their execution. Number six. When Ceslau Miguel was captured on March 18, 1915, and charged with fighting in the Mexican Revolution. Given no trial, Wenceslau was sentenced to death by firing squad. After receiving eight shots to his body, an officer approached him and fired one last shot into his head at close range to ensure his death. Feigning death until his executioners left, Wenceslau then made his escape, going on to live a full life even making an appearance on the Ripley's Believe It or Not radio show in 1937. Number 5. Anne Green was a 22-year-old woman from England who, after becoming pregnant by her employer's grandson, gave birth to a premature baby boy who died soon after. Following a failed attempt to hide the body, Green was charged with murder and sentenced to death by hanging. After climbing a ladder to the gallows, the rope was placed around her neck and she was pushed off to hang. About half an hour later, Green was cut down and placed in a coffin. Upon opening the coffin for dissection, it was revealed that Green was breathing and making sounds. Treatments of hot fluids and bloodletting were given and 12 hours later, Green was able to speak. After her miraculous recovery, she went on to marry, have three children, and live another 15 years. Number 4. At age 16, Willie Francis was charged with murder in 1945 for the killing of a drugstore owner in Louisiana. Despite two written confessions, Francis pleaded not guilty. With no defense from his attorneys, Francis was convicted and sentenced to death in the electric chair. On May 3, 1946, as the electricity passed through his body, Francis began screaming, Take it off! Take it off! Let me breathe! Though Francis survived his initial execution, his appeals to the Supreme Court were rejected and he was executed on May 9, 1947. Number 3. Maggie Dixon lived in Scotland in the early 18th century. Similar to Anne Green, Dixon became pregnant by her employer's son. Concealing the pregnancy for fear of dismissal from her duties, in 1724 she gave birth prematurely and the child died a few days later. After leaving the baby on a riverbank, it was found later that day and traced back to Dixon. Charged under the contravention of the concealment of pregnancy, she was sentenced to public hanging. After the hanging, Dixon was pronounced dead and her body sent to be buried. During transportation, however, Dixon began beating on the inside of the coffin. Upon opening the coffin, Dixon was found alive. Viewing it as God's will that she live, the law set her free. Dixon went on to live for another 40 years. Number 2. Joseph Samuel was born in England, but transported to Australia after committing robbery in 1801. After becoming involved with a gang, they robbed the home of a wealthy woman, killing a police officer in the process. Upon capture, Joseph admitted to the robbery, but denied any involvement in the murder. However, he was charged with the murder and sentenced to public hanging in 1803. After praying, the cart on which he stood drove off. His fall caused the rope to snap. Upon the second attempt, the rope slipped causing his feet to touch the ground. As he dropped for the third time, the rope snapped again. After informing the governor of what happened, it was believed to be a sign from God that Joseph not be hanged. His sentence was then commuted to life in prison. Number 1. In 1984, Romel Broom was convicted of the kidnapping, rape, and murder of 14-year-old Trina Middleton in Ohio. Broom was sentenced to death for the crimes and sent to death row to await execution. On September 15, 2009, Broom was taken to carry out the sentence of lethal injection. However, after over two hours of failed attempts to find a suitable vein to place an IV for the injection, 
the execution was called off. He was then given a stay of execution of one week, with further stays to follow while the courts determine whether or not a second attempt is constitutional. Broom is currently awaiting the outcome of an appeal. That's it for today. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. See you next time.